another day in the life of a mom vlog, day in the life of a homemaker vlog, traditional wife vlog, and homemaking vlog. My name is Sarah and this is Rich and Sarah Idaho. So this is gonna be a daily vlog where I just take you through our day and some meal planning and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm actually filming this intro after I filmed some of the video. So you're gonna like, we're gonna go back in time a little bit, but you'll see I have a really great recipe for you guys today. It's a cheesy cauliflower soup. It's a copycat to Zupa's um, cauliflower soup. It is so like the Wisconsin cheddar. Anyway, it's amazing. I did kind of change it up a little bit. I'll explain that to you in it. And then I'm also making a cheesy zucchini bread. So I will have both recipes linked below for you and in the description how to do those. And um, let's get the vlog going. I also did change my nail color. I went really bright <laughs> for summer. It's August. It is the last month where I can get away with really bright pink ish it's not even pink it's kind of an orange corally color and a little bit of, i just gotta do a little sparkle a little sparkle anyway changed them up I'm just pulling out it's august and it is only 77 degrees at two o'clock in the afternoon i am loving idaho weather today right, guys i am driving so i'm gonna have the camera down below and if i can't look at you too often it's because i'm driving um so funny story to tell you guys i think it's funny um, again, sorry, I can't look at you again. The worst angles, I am sure. Hang on. So, Rich has, Rich is a real estate agent here in Idaho. And we have a channel, we have a company called Live Free Live Idaho. If you haven't checked it out, we are looking to uh, move, buy, sell a home here in Idaho, the Boise area, Treasure Valley. You're gonna wanna check it out. Um, anyway, I am his like, I don't, videographer, I don't think is the word. I don't know. I create all his social media posts. I film videos of him and all the houses he's um, doing. So the other day we're filming a house and we'll do like home chores, right? So we're like filming in the home and the family's not there and everything they've cleared out so we can film. So we're filming in the home and Rich is like, the backyard isn't done yet. So there's no grass laid out yet, but I want to still film in the backyard. Well, I am trying to be a good steward of whose homes I'm looking at and I want to keep it nice and clean. And so I take off my flip flops at the door so I'm not tracking dirt or mud through this beautiful home that's only like a couple months old. It was really just built. I don't know what I was thinking. When I go to film the backyard, I'm not in my shoes still. And so I just run out onto the dirt path. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of what this dirt looked like right here. I run out and I immediately am like four feet from the patio and I start screaming bloody murder. I'm like, Rich, Rich, and I can't, I can't walk, I can't put pressure. Have you guys ever seen a goat head? I'm gonna insert a picture of what a goat head looks like right here. I don't know if it's some type of a thorn or what it is, but we have them out here all over the place. By the way, I'm back in our subdivision. I'm just checking out the pool to see if it's too crowded to take the boys for uh, 30, 40 minutes before we have to go to karate. Um, anywho, uh, I probably had about 25 goat heads stuck in my feet in just one foot, probably 50 in both feet. It, and you can't move when these things are in there because as you apply pressure, it goes further and further into the sole of your foot. And I just lay myself down, but I don't want to lay down on the on the dirt because then I'll have a goat head stuck on my leg and my butt and everywhere else. So I lay down on the cement and I just start crying and Rich has to pull the goat heads out of my feet. This was the worst experience to date here in Idaho. We can both laugh about it now because it's been a week since this incident happened, but it was the most dramatic, most painful, and yet most hilarious experience of my life. And he was like, boy, if I could be filming you now for your vlog, what people would say. I was like, oh my goodness. It was so embarrassing. Anyway, all right. I'm almost home now and we'll get started to show you guys some of those recipes. Right here I'm getting the onion all chopped up and sauteed in some butter. 
for this yummy cauliflower Wisconsin cheddar soup. I will leave all of the recipe in the description below, but the really neat thing about this is it's not completely dairy free, but I did not use half and half or cream. Instead, I used a coconut milk. So you'll wanna check that recipe out below. It makes it a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit kind of a sweet, salty thing happening there. So check that out. And now I'm about to make this amazing cheesy zucchini bread. So you'll wanna see the whole recipe for this. After I've shredded about a cup to a cup and a half of zucchini, I am not draining it. I'm just gonna keep it whole in there. So just take it with the water and all. I'm gonna add two eggs to my Halloween bowl. If you notice, I have that. A little bit of onion powder, no real measurement here, just as much as you like to taste. And then I'm gonna add a couple dollops couple, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of sour cream. Any sour cream will do. Mix all of that up really well. And then you have a lot of your wet ingredients ready. Here, I'm gonna uh, pour about a fourth of a cup of melted butter. And then I used a Colby Jack cheese blended mix. Um, you could use any kind of cheese you want, throw that in. And then about a teaspoon of um, salt, and here I go in with my flour. I'm gonna use two cups of all-purpose baking flour. And here we'll add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and then we're just going to mix it all together really well. But before I do that, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, just a little bit for flavor. And then I'm just gonna get to mixing. Make sure you mix all of the egg, the flour, the zucchini, just everything uh, blended up really well together. I'm gonna take a greased and kind of dusted in a little flour baking, um, loaf baking pan. I'm gonna add the entire um, mixture into that. Just gonna kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna get ready to put, pop this in the oven for maybe 50 to 70 minutes. All right, and then you're just going to put that in at 350 degrees for 50 to 70-ish minutes. Check it out, and you're gonna have a zucchini cheesy bread that is amazing to go along with our cheesy cauliflower soup for dinner. All right, this cheesy zucchini bread just came out of the oven. It's gonna be, I mean, it smells amazing. It's gonna taste so yummy with that cauliflower Wisconsin cheddar soup, Zupa soup that I made. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So cheesy. Mmm, so good. And I already took a sampling of the soup. It's gonna be perfect. Anyway, dinner is served. All right, every day. Oh, I put these, I bring these little guys down and I try to pluck off, I don't know, the dead ones? Because I read that you're supposed to do that. Oh, you're not dead. Oh no, no, see all the little little dead ones? And then it helps so that the dead flowers aren't drawing life to them. This one's being eaten by something. Um, and then all the energy is gonna go to the blooms instead. Look at all these. So I try to do this every day, every other day. And you guys, I keep them up here. I'll show you, hold on. They hang up here on these two hooks and I've been having hummingbirds come and it is the sweetest little thing. And they, I don't know, get their little nectar. I don't know if that's even what it's called that they do, but they get it from the flowers. And I love watching them in the morning when I get coffee. It is the sweetest because our kitchen window is just right here. Macy, are you watching us? Are you watching us? All right, here's hoping we get some more hummingbirds from these two. All right guys, we are at soccer practice and we're supposed to have 30 file, 35 mile per hour winds. And the coach, Coach Rich, my husband, is not going to cancel it yet. All right everybody, that is going to do it here for me here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the two recipes I've left for you in the description box below. Give them a try, let me know what you think, and I'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.